Leo, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, the 28th of March to the 3rd of April, 2022. I have a button on my shirt that's not done up, but it keeps hitting the table. Um, these are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Leo, let's begin. Oops, that way. As I picked them up, I was kind of like, did I turn those around? Yeah, I did. Overall, Nine of Pentacles, love that. That success is there for the taking. It's incoming, you know that it's incoming, and that hard work is paying off. I say, take it with both hands and run with it. Past energies, you had the Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Leaving a burden behind of feeling like you're doing this journey on your own, putting all the hard work in and nothing seemed to be coming out of that from the past of the past. Okay, but very confident, very determined to go after your dreams and your goals. But it might have meant just starting things again at square one. Chapter one, new beginning. Giving this another go right there. Present energies, you have strength, ace of swords, queen of cups. Could be dealing with a Leo, core of your reading. New beginning, new journey, new chapter. Clearing the crap out from the past, having this fresh new start, takes strength to do that at times. But you're very proud of how far you've come emotionally. There's stability there, but you're just having this whole fresh new start that um, step one of that new journey begins there. And your future energies, Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You may have been through a bit here, and it's just taking some time out for yourself, needing to do some self-healing, looking after number one. Always say everybody does it, everybody needs to do it, and it is a big deal at times to say I need some space. Just to um, give you that clarity for those fresh new steps that are being taken. You've got two aces there already. There's emotional happiness here, again, taking it with both hands and running with it. And from that nine of pentacles overall, you're finishing down here with that ten. There's that final push, that final oomph, always say, to get that momentum to that tenth pentacle success. But it may mean just taking some time for yourself prior to that coming in there. So Leo, let's see what the universe has to say. Starting with the Nine of Pentacles overall for the week. Love that. You have the High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles. Snap down there and the Fool. That success, as I said, from that ninth to the tenth, that wheel is pushing you forward and it pushes you forward to that Ten of Pentacles success, successful outcome. Um, going with the flow, with that High Priestess, did I say Wheel of Fortune? No, the High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles and the Fall. But um, yeah, ready to take a leap of faith towards this new chapter, this new beginning right there and going for it. Taking a chance, taking a risk and just doing it. Love that. Past energies, Ten of Wands, Leo. You have Death, the Lovers, Five of Swords. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. And it may be around love in the past. Soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant. Maybe a new beginning there when it comes to love. It's been a constant battle previously, bringing an end to that burden. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or Gemini. But as I said, goodbye to the old, hello to the new. Ending that battle and that burden there. Queen of Wands, you have Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, look at that, stability, commitment, somebody significant here, offering love, you may be offering love to them, but a very balanced relationship there, stability, as I said, maybe around commitment, existing relationship, 
could be stepping up to a marriage proposal, moving in together. This may be new love and um, having that first step of commitment there and getting together. But it's a very balanced relationship with that Six of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles could be this whole new journey beginning. You have the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, King of Swords. There's been some stress, there's been some sleepless nights, some overthinking of things. Maybe around that offer of love. You know, if you have been through a tough time, that burden of feeling like you're doing this on your own, no, next time around, it may be a bit of hesitancy there to move forward with this new beginning. But at the same time, you're very logical, you're very level-headed and able to think with your head over your heart and you're proud of your achievements and how far you have come. And you may be now ready for this whole new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles that we're clarifying. Love that, Leo. Present energy, strength. Your own energies there, Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Princess of Pentacles. There is an offer here. Um, uh, it may be a job that you once worked at, moving back to a hometown. It may be a reconciliation offer. Maybe taking strength to either accept that offer or, or decline that offer. I'll put that nicely there. <laughs> um, but Six of Cups is also around playful energy, butterfly in your tummy's feeling. Where's this new chapter actually taking me? But there's teamwork collaboration here, a good partnership of some sort, whether that's around love, around home, around work. But um, there's something or someone you're not able to let go of here with that Four of Pentacles, maybe taking strength to release that energy and that may be something from or someone from the past with that Six of Cups there. But you're ready to clear that crap out, um, if that may be the case, with the Sace of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords, Princess of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Yep, somebody that has broken your heart here due to a third party situation. Um, and again, love, work home could be any situation there but there's success in moving forward clearing that crap out and having this fresh new start there's love here still on offer maybe from a younger energy could be a child could be a pet could be somebody significant with an age gap there but there is this love on offer regardless of what you've been through ready for this fresh new start queen of cups strength which we had back there you have got the devil and the five of cups wow leo you're doing a hell of a tough time at the moment it's taking a hell of a lot of strength presently you've got that twice here already could be dealing with another leo because that's your own energy as well could be dealing with a capricorn but that negative toxic energy is still there, lingering there it's causing a great deal of sadness with that five of cups I always say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on or get over it it's done in your own time and in your own way but there is emotional support and um, loving energy around you with that five of cups you're focusing on these three here that have um, if I can do my things the right way toppled over there but back here there's still brimming brimming cups of um, support there and loving energy helping you to release yourself from that toxic negative energy that seems to be keep keeps chaining to you holding you back there taking a hell of a lot of strength to release that wow leo but i think you do break free from that because you do have this four of swords doing some self-healing you know when you're going through that kind of energy future energies you have four of swords with the star three of pentacles the moon could be dealing with an aquarius or pisces hidden fears when things are darker and grayer taking that time out for yourself rejuvenation there getting your thoughts back together that moon does still shine clearly allows you to have that clarity when things don't seem so great but it also that self-healing and time out gives you time to refocus your dreams your wishes and your hopes here 
and it may be that that teamwork, um, collaboration, that partnership is still involved here with that Three of Pentacles, building a solid foundation, putting the plans in place, but problem shared, problem halved, easing a lot of that burden there. Love that. Leo, Nine of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. There's success here, and it may be sudden success. Being able to walk away from some sort of deceptive energy, somebody's not maybe not appreciating that you're walking away. You're the one doing the walking away, and it may be from that third party situation we had back there, and that negative energy that had been surrounding, surrounding, surrounding you. <laughs> Okay, but that's causing a bit of drama, a bit of conflict there, but you're not wanting to get involved in that. You can see the emotional happiness and stability that is there in front of you, and you're going for it. And there's success there, getting control of finances, things are falling into place, and um, being able to leave that deceptive energy and that drama behind in the past. And you finish Ten of Pentacles with that success. Brilliant, Leo. Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Not only do you have the power couple there with the King and Queen of Wands, you have the two queens either side of the King. So ultimate balance right there as well and success and confidence and determination. You know what you want, possibly you know who you want and having control over where you are heading. Again, proud of how far you've come emotionally. You have been through the mill, if this does resonate with any of you, but you are coming out on top here. You are still standing. You have that successful outcome. Brilliant. So Leo, let's see what, let's see what mess I can make right here. Way too many from the universe there. We will do take two. Doesn't want to go back in the pack. We'll take that though. The High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Wow. Yeah. After that third party situation, that heartbreak, that deceptive energy, you have been able to walk away from that, but that's left you with your guard up with the High Priestess, not wanting to be overwhelmed by everything, but at the same time, <coughs> oh, I'm a throat. Being aware of what's going on around you there, but that. Um, High Priestess, very, yeah, very guarded. And given that you've gone through this kind of energy, we've had that twice in your reading as well, that deceptive energy, that third party situation, that heartbreak, no wonder there that you have your guard up there. Wow, Leo, but let's see what Open to Spirit Oracle has to say. These are hard to shuffle still, but I'm going to take one, even though nothing even really wants to come out there. <laughs> Leo, a detour is not a derailment. Return to your true north, your true north in your heart right there. What you are feeling at that moment there, love that. Consult your inner compass. Are you satisfied that you are guiding your life in the best possible direction? Do you feel aligned with your soul path? Sometimes life is so busy what, what, with what we... I'll say that again. Sometimes life is so busy with what we have to do, we forget what brings us joy. We feel disconnected from whom we truly are. Any detour, however prolonged, is not a derailment. Anytime you choose, you can return to your true north, to the calling of your soul's purpose. Where now do you need to be headed? If necessary, adjust your course. Well, in that Seven of Swords twice, I think you adjust that course, leaving that kind of energy behind and focusing on that success from that Nine of Pentacles to that Ten of Pentacles there. Leo, tough. 
maybe. But that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.